Welcome back. This is Mr. Fiscus, Tuscola High School principal. Please follow along on this brief video to touch on some of the changes that will happen this year at TCHS. First of all, a big welcome to our three new teachers, Mrs. Nolan in special ed, Ms. Church in choir, and Mr. Sterkel returns to Tuscola High School is a PE behind the wheel and head girls track coach. Welcome to all of them. Our biggest change this year is gonna be our bell schedule. On Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, we will follow an 820 to 150 school day. Please see the schedules on the left-hand side of the page. Students, look at your schedule to see if you are A lunch or B lunch. Wednesday is a noon dismissal. Zero hour driver ed, you will meet from 710 to 803 daily, Monday through Friday, to make sure that we meet requirements for the state in order to meet your 30 hour of classroom time. Points of emphasis this year, all students must enter the north parking lot doors from 8 to 820 daily. If you're in zero hour driver ed, you need to be there at 705 and zero hour PE and conditioning 720 to 730. Make sure that you have completed the self-certification documents either online or have a paper copy to hand the staff member. Wear your mask and go directly to the first period following our one-way traffic flow, staying to the right of the yellow line. We will allow study hall attendance waivers this year. If you choose, it is optional. Please note those class periods below. Parking is the same. Park appropriately in the line spaces in either lot, but only the north lot allows students in. No food in the classroom. Drinks should be water and see-through containers. We will be getting bottle filling stations. School dress code, please refer to your handbook. And freshmen, this is new for you. Finals will be, represent 15% of your semester grade. We talked about the lunch differences. There are two periods this year, A lunch or B lunch. We still have open campus, so you may go home to restaurants, or outdoor seating. We have benches that were made by the student council a couple years ago. Please take advantage of these spaces. Cafeteria seating will be at individual desks instead of lunch tables this year. And we've created overflow seating in the north balcony. Please do not roam as we need to make sure we're maintaining social distancing at all times. If you go outside after lunch, you must re-enter at the north doors. Unfortunately, we cannot accept food deliveries this year. Reminders, as always, act appropriately, clean up after yourself, drive safely and lawfully, and return to school on time. Computer and social media use, you can see the different points here, but it's pretty simple. If you wouldn't say it, send it, or show it to grandma, you probably shouldn't type it out. Classroom expectations, we will not have lockers this year, PE or hallway. Students will be allowed to carry a backpack with them all day to and from classes. Make sure you have tennis shoes for PE as you will still be active, even if you're not dressing and changing clothes. Cell phones may be kept in your backpack during class, but they must remain off and silent, and only the teacher can grant permission for use in the classroom. Remote learners, a couple slides for you. Teachers will be sending you out your Google Meet links to join your classroom virtually. Please make sure that we're looking for this in our school email accounts. If you're having trouble with your technology as a remote learner, you can always click the join for audio button that's highlighted here. Reminders this year in general, there are no field trips, no visitors to school, and everyone must wear a mask inside. As always, be a warrior, be respectful, responsible, and reliable. Make sure that you're touching the line anytime you can. Be responsible and have integrity. This is a brief slide that talks about how important attendance is for students in school. The warrior code, and my favorite, how you do anything is how you do everything. Good luck, Warriors, and we'll see you Monday.